Oh, hey, world. Good morning. Soup.tv. Here with another in installment of the dream series. This time we're gonna go and talk about a recurring dream of mine that happens pretty often. For starters, this dream, more so usually a daydream than an actual dream overnight is the, you know when you come to the edge of say a cliff or a mountain and you get that, I don't know if you're like on a bike, you're running too fast and can't stop. It's like a wily e. Coyote moment. Well, I've never actually gone over the edge of a cliff, fucking sidewalk, <laughs> mountain, anything. I make it to the very edge and then wake up. I get that, oh, snap. I wake up, but I've never seen over the side, nothing. So, push me to the edge, all oh, my friends are dead. So yeah, that happens a lot. It's, it's more like I said, it's more so a daydream. Like if I'm at the DMV just sitting around waiting, I'll fall asleep and that might be a dream I have, but it's not, it doesn't happen overnight as much as it does just me during a day falling asleep for a nap or something, dozing off. Another common dream I have, which I wish I would have more and it would be like more exaggerated or fun of it, more fun of an experience is I can fly. Now I can't fly like Superman. It's more like a bird where I have to flap my, my wings, but I'm actually using my arms. So I'm flapping and flapping and flapping. And I might get three or four feet off the ground. And that's as high as I've ever gone. And the catch is I have to fucking flap my arms so hard to stay afloat. So it's, it's awesome because I've always wanted to fly, but it's also a drag because it's so much work. Wake up tired because I was trying to fly, but it's all right. At least I got to experience it. Now for another dream that happens the most is people chase me. Like, have you seen that movie, It Follows? It's similar to that, but less no, it's about, it's, it's, it's about as creepy. I've never had a mob, so like I said, it's usually like one or two people. But it's like, wherever I go, they need to go as well. Same footsteps. So I can be having the most fantastic, elaborate, fun dream in the world. I'm swimming at a pool, I get out and I go to the concession stand. But then all of a sudden, I get this paranoia and I'm like, who's that? And they're coming to get me, like, they're walking, they're following me. And no matter how fast or far I try to run, they're right there with me. I close doors, they come through them. Their dreams piss me off. I was like, why the fuck are people following me, man? Leave me alone. <laughs> Let me dream. And I wake up like, that was a waste of a dream. That was a waste of a night, but it happens. Sometimes I come to my senses and I realize I'm dreaming and it goes away or I'll stop running like and go talk to them or something. And then they're just standing there. It's like a shadow experience, you know, but they have this mean mug face. So I guess that's where the paranoia and the dream comes. So that's dreams part three. Make sure you watch parts one and two, two and one. It doesn't matter the order, but let's discuss dreams, man. What dreams do you have most in common? What dreams happen the most? Leave that comment here. Make sure you subscribe so you can catch other series like this one, other uploads, and you can be the first to know about everything if you hit that little bell and get the notifications. This is soup.tv. I'm gonna go in here and get me some dry goods. Maybe pick up some tobacco. We'll see what they got. Catch you later. Cut.